Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video with That's Awkward ASMR. My name is Tatiana and today I'm going to be playing Palea. So if you don't know what Palea is, it's like a cozy MMO or massively multiplayer online. So you actually see other people kind of running around similar to me. Those are actually real people who are also playing this game. It's very much like a cozy vibe kind of game. You're doing things like farming, fishing, there's a story, you are meeting characters, doing character quests, there's a whole bunch of stuff, bug catching, you know, all the stuff we love from other stable kind of cozy games. I'm really excited to jump into this game today. I think it's going to be a ton of fun and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I have live streamed this already on this channel and on my second channel, um, which is non-ASMR content, but it is still gaming content. This link in the, is in the description for that channel. Um, and if you want to see the ASMR live stream, it is on this channel as well. Um, just check under live streams and you'll see if I have a live stream. Um, you'll see them all there. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. We're just going to be doing some character quests, things like that. And without further ado, let's jump in. So this is my property in Palea. Everyone gets their own entire plot of land, which actually can be kind of huge. Like right now it's just this, but you can expand into this entire thing, which is pretty cool. So this is my house right now. Um, I don't know how to fix this sign, so don't judge me. I have no idea how to fix it. But there is that sign. Um, I've made a cute little sitting area here with a picnic blanket that I was actually gifted by a really cute um, character in the game. Um, and yeah, it's just like a cute little sitting area for now. Um, I made this adorable, <laughs> this adorable little, I think it's called a Sanook. Um, it's really cute. It's like a little deer type animal. I've also... Um, um, I have this tent, so you start out with a tent, then you can build a house. So I put the house here, but my tent has become like my shed kind of area. So um, this is where I can craft things like glass, light bulbs, get planks, fabrics, um, and this one which runs constantly crafting like um, bars and stuff like that. So that has been exciting. We actually can probably throw some more copper in there. Um, so yeah, we, I usually always have these working. I can cook at this campfire if I wish to, but I can also cook inside now. Like I'm kind of building a kitchen, so definitely not cooking at the campfire as much as I used to. Um, I also have this area, which is where my little farm is. It's coming along, you know, it's coming along. Um, but I am excited to have my little farm, and then here I just have little machines that I don't really have a lot of- Oh, we have fertilizer! I don't have a ton of, um, basically room for it, so I do kind of put, um, some stuff in here. Um, or sorry, what was I saying? I put these- I put these tools and, like, machines over here just because I don't have room yet. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Um, so yeah, cool. This is my house. Oh, this is also for people signing up with my friend code. This was a really cool thing I got in the mail. So thank you so much. If you've signed up with my friend code, it is in the description if you want, but you don't have to use it. Um, and I also am wearing this hat because I think my sister signed up with my friend code and then someone else signed up with this and it's really cute and I put it outside the house because it's so cute. And here's my house. It's just, it's kind of small. So I have a little sitting area here. Um, and then I have, um, kind of the dining table, a really mini kitchen. And then my bedroom area is just like there. Really getting that, um, apartment vibe. <laughs> but I like it. And, um, yeah, I kind of come in here and cook. Um, we don't really need to cook right now, but maybe we'll cook later. Maybe we'll cook later. So that's my little house. On this side also, I just have these. They're like these treasure chests you can find around the world. And you can keep them. So, or you you have to. I don't think you can sell these. Which, I kind of wish I could sell at least the ones I don't want. Like, you know, some of them are fancier than others. Um, 
But yeah, I kind of just try to place them around strategically. So this is my home. It is 1 a.m. So, you know, we... Uh, have I sold anything? Nothing is selling. So we don't really need to be here right now. Um, maybe I'll do a time skip just till it's daytime because... We have a character quest, as you can see, it says, um, let me do it so you can, like, read it better. There we go. So, we do have to do Arian, errands for a character named Reth. Um, Reth is kind of like a chef in town, used to be a carpenter. Apparently there's some, um, I didn't know Reth was supposed to be a carpenter. I don't know if I just missed it in conversing with Reth. Um, but Reth was supposed to be a carpenter, but decided to be a chef, and so some people in town think Reth is kind of mischievous. Reth is a little mischievous. I mean, even like Reth is supposed to be doing these errands, delivering food, picking up pickles or meat from different um, other villagers and kind of asked you to do it instead. So, and literally said, because he's cute. And I was like, hey, you're cute, but like, stop, don't be using that as an excuse. So it was kind of funny. It's like a cute little character. Um, so we're going to be doing those. I did try to record this and I did deliver the food to Eshe. I might keep it in the video. Let's go ahead and deliver food because that's our first task. Well, I thought I talked to them. What is it? I have a delivery for you. Is this the meal I ordered from that riffraff at the inn? So apparently people kind of don't be like in Reth. I'm just finding that out. Well, I suppose late is better than never, marginally. <laughs> Ever since my chef Enzo quit, I have been struggling to find edible food in this town. And now, a little food I can get is delivered freezing cold. This is what happens when you stray from your path. That boy should have stayed a carpenter. Well, what are you doing, still standing around? I am busy enough without having to entertain you. Here, take this and be on your way. But basically, my camera was all messed up and I forgot... If I'm at the bottom corner, you guys actually can't see what's going on. <laughs> so, I have now fixed it, and we are now starting over. Maybe we'll go and repair some of my tools. We can do that in town at any time. I can do it at home, but I wasn't able to craft. I don't have all the things to craft the, like, repair kit. So, sometimes I just go and spend the money. Um, it used to be, like, 75 gold for me. Maybe it's more expensive because I have upgraded my stuff so we'll see um so yeah before by the time the characters are awake um or sorry we should be able to get this done and then when they're awake we can go talk to them because a lot of them are sleeping around 2 a.m not all of them but quite you know it's nighttime like most people are. i mean i'd be awake if i was npc you guys would be able to come see me all the time because <laughs> i'd be awake for maybe two hours um so yeah, so the, I think it's this way, yeah, the blacksmith, um, so yeah, you can just kind of walk up and, which I just kind of stumbled upon, I can repair the tools, it's a hundred bucks now, that's okay, I know everything didn't need to be repaired, but that's fine, that is fine, so the character we need to go to next, I know lives on the farm, which is over here, and I think they're sleeping, so they're actually this way. So we'll just kind of run over there, you know? See, this is another player who's playing. I don't know if, whoops, he's trying to emote. Yeah, see, players get really obviously busy and unless you talk in the chat, and even then, sometimes I find people don't really wanna, you know, chit chat or anything, and that's fine. People are sometimes grinding, making money. I know when I'm doing that, I don't really, I don't really converse with anyone, especially, um, oh, we took the wrong path, the farm, we don't have to walk on the paths, but I'd like to, you know, it keeps me civilized, <laughs> um, okay, so the farm is over here, there's like a whole family who lives here, and actually, that picnic blanket I was talking about, I actually got from my, um, my friend here, which was really cool, um, Ani, which actually I think Ani's, I don't even know if Ani's here. Oh yeah, Ani, Ani sleeps in the treehouse. Guys, check out Ani's, we're gonna go check this out. Ani has this sick treehouse, and I can't go in it until I get the key from Ani. Look at this. 
Isn't this so cool? That is so cool. Like, I want to go in here, but it'll say I can't. Oh, it actually says I can't because Ani's sleeping in there. But I'm not allowed in there until I get a key. So I'm, I've been trying to become friends with Ani because I like the treehouse. So this is Ani's family's farm. And I think we have to talk to his older brother, actually. Which, I'm not going to lie, some characters I never speak to because I never have a reason to. And his older brother is one of them. I never, I don't even think, I think I've said hi once just to meet the NPC. And apparently there's some I haven't even met yet. I think this is the main house. I think you should be allowed to walk in here. Yeah. Can you see them sleeping? Okay, no. Oh, Ani sleeps in this room too. It's Neo and Ani's room. Yeah, so I can't go in there. I gotta wait till he wakes up. Maybe we'll just camp out the house. <laughs> until he wakes up. Alright, so it's like 4 a.m. in game, and it looks like that's when a lot of the family members, <laughs> actually all of them, wake up. So we can actually just talk to brother right now. Yeah, I've literally talked to this person once. Like, I, I have not talked to them. Stop by the farm sometime. Reth sent me. Oh, for the pickles, right? I got them around here somewhere. To be honest, I'm glad you're here instead of him. Because he stole your muscles, we can be unhinged. They have, like, personality types, and, like, you can be unhinged if you want. I kind of want to say it because it's unhinged, but I'll say why. He and I don't exactly get along. It's a long story. We're finding out lore about these characters. Though, why are you here instead of him? Are you doing his job for him now? Uh, it's a favor for a friend. Oh, I didn't know he had any friends. Why is everyone hating on Wrath? You know what he's like, right? Always flirting with everyone. Yeah, I mean, he literally said he's so cute that I shouldn't do the job for him. Even with people who are maybe sort of kind of already taken. Oh, wait, hold up. That's messed up. Okay, maybe I'm not in Wrath's corner anymore. Sorry, I got a little fired up there. <laughs> I mean, it was just tea. Anyways, here's your pickles and uh, a tip for doing Wrath's job for him. Oopsie, we're learning something kind of messed up about Reth. Alright, this is Hassian, which also kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie, really cute. Whatever it is you want, just be swift about it. I have things to get done, or get to. Yeah, Hassian hates us, but I'm gonna turn that hate into love, like. <laughs> um, I'm here to pick up some meat. He sent you to do his work for him? Why am I not surprised? Here, take this and get out of my sight. Do you have a problem with Wrath? A problem? I don't think about him enough to have a problem with him. The f not look at the face. The face with the slay line, like you ate his Asian with that line. <laughs> that was hilarious. It's one thing to betray everything your parents set up for your future, and another to flaunt it. Interesting. So apparently, uh little backstory with what I've just been learning about Reth. Reth is a w <laughs> breaks up families maybe. I don't... <laughs> something like that. Um, uh, so, that's us. Reth also is the chef for the inn. His dad owns his sister's a carpenter and r which I just found out, which I didn't I would never have known there were siblings, which it kind of brings up. Um, but they're siblings and so she, it sounds like Maybe the family were like a bunch of carpenters and then the dad opened this inn and then the sister continued the carpentry business and then the brother maybe was in the carp car carpentry business, like Reth was there, and then straight up left and is a chef now and maybe everyone, also it seems like Reth is causing issues in town with flirting and maybe not, be maybe being a little lazy because they seem not surprised I'm helping him. I thought I was just helping a friend but now we're... Now we're sus. <laughs> so it seems like Reth's got some stuff going on in this town. He wears it like a badge of honor when it is a mark of shame to stray from your path. Because he's proud of being a cook, and I guess everyone, some people really hate that. But I wouldn't expect a human like you to understand. Well, dang, that's rude. Still, you're doing this job for him, and I suppose that should be rewarded. Here. Hassan, you will love me. It will happen. <laughs> I'm just joking. Actually, there's a character I want to romance. I want to do the same thing I did with Stardew Valley, where 
where, well, I, you don't really romance the character that I live with, it, but I want to like, I want to do something different maybe than everyone else. I'll let y'all know who I'm going to romance. Who do you think it is if you play this game? Who do you think I'm going to romance? All right, let's give this stuff to Reth. We've learned about you. Oh, you scared me. I thought you might be the magistrate. <laughs> well, listen here. Oh, wait, we're not supposed to talk to Breath. We're supposed to talk to his dad. Where's his dad? Oh, his dad's upstairs, I think. Is it the morning? His dad does push-ups every morning. And it's, I don't know that because I was, like, trying to romance his dad. Yeah, here's his dad. Look at him, just doing his push-ups. <laughs> just doing his push-ups. Hey, Sambika, did you manage to track Reth down? I took care of his chores for you. Reth finished all his chores for you. Should I tell him? I'm, I feel like I don't, I don't know. Ooh, should I snitch? Should I tell Ashura? Ooh, I kind of want to tell Ashura because I want Ashura to be my bestie. Since we can't date, we'll be besties. I took care of his chores for you. Reth finished all his chores for you. I'm going to I'm going to be honest, I did them. I'm not going to lie. I did them. You did, did you? Sorry you got caught up in this. Honestly, it was fine cuz I got to learn tea. Thank you for helping out. How's Rath doing? He seems I don't know. He seemed kind of fine. It seemed like he didn't really But he did seem I mean, he asked us because it seemed like he was stressed maybe. He seemed stressed. Really? I'm surprised he let you see that. But that's always trying his best to seem fine. All he's got is Tish, and with her condition, what's up with Tish? Tish is sick. I gotta start talking to these people. <laughs> he could use some more friends like you, Zambika. Do, do an old man a favor and keep an eye out for him, would you? Make me feel a lot better if he had someone else looking out for him. What's wrong with Tish? Don't just go back to your push-ups. What the heck? Is something- is she sick? Yeah, we're running to Tish. You better believe when I'm running. Tish better be in here running her shop. What's up with you and your health? Now I have to be friends with Tish to find out. Tish? Where is she? She's not even in here. Oh, she's walking in the square. I probably ran past her. There she is. Oh, people are stopping her. They're like Disney characters. It's funny. People just stop them everywhere they go. Hello, sorry I didn't see you there. I was also in thought about how to redecorate my fort. Okay, can we chat? I love the wistful willows that grow here. Not only are they beautiful, but their bark is soft and palatable. It's super easy to make beautiful furniture if you're working with willow bark. Okay, it looks like I have a long way to go to be friends with Tish, but now we are left on a cliffhanger. What's up with Tish? Did Breath break up a family? I mean, that's serious business. Did, you know... Ashura seems to not be mad at him. I mean, people in the town are, but Ashura seems to be... I mean, Ashura hired him as the chef in his own place, and if his dad's chill, like, maybe everyone else needs to relax. But also, maybe Russ making people mad, and that's why they're mad. I'm not sure. A lot of tea. <laughs> A lot of tea for an ASMR video, I will say. All right. Well, that's it for this video. It's just a quick little, you know... I know I have this assignment, Find My Ship... I'm working towards it. Probably a video on my second channel, getting my ship, which is just kind of like a mentor. And I'm trying to decide between Ashura. There's another character I haven't met, so I need to go meet them. Because I should probably meet all of the NPCs before I'm making the decision on who I want to be my ship and like who's going to mentor me and help me out. And otherwise, it's going to be Ashura because I love Ashura. <laughs> it's fine. Um, maybe Ashura or Hadari. Loki wanted to, Loki, unfortunately, all the people, all the dads, I was, I liked them, but Hadari, you know, I don't think Hadari is, actually, let's check, I don't think Hadari is romanceable, but I also wanted to romance Hadari, yeah, you can't, see, there's two bars if you can romance them, so Hadari can't. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching or relaxing and just sitting with me for a minute and playing a game. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And if you want more paleo, let me know down below. Give this video a like and I will see you in the next one. As always, remember to have sweet, sweet dreams of gaming.